Hello, Paul Pluter for the Paul Pluter channel. And today I'm doing paid reviews because I don't like doing shit for free. And today I'm doing a bit of a um, bit of a Q&A for a, uh, a viewer who's uh, he's asked to be anonymous. Mr. Archie, enjoying your channel and view on watches. Let's have a non-Rolex Amiga wristwatch review this time. I'm searching for a second watch next to my Omega Hour Vision white dial on a leather strap for predominantly work purposes. What is your opinion about the IWC Portuguese Chronograph Classic Loris Limited Edition? The blue dial is a stunner on this watch and therefore I put the Rolex GMT Batman on the back burner for now as I've seen them both on my wrist yesterday. The limited edition is hardly more expensive than the non Loris edition. 12,500 US dollars new. I am not so interested in the resale value as it's a keeper. Your honest opinion is appreciated. I have donated 20 US to your PayPal account. Thanks, Anonymous from Switzerland. One additional comment, I will probably never go for the top luxury brands like AP, Patek or Vacheron. So saving money for those watches will probably never happen. Okay, Mr. Anonymous from Switzerland, what do I think? Well, the Omega Hour Vision, I got to tell you the truth, it's just a coaxial movement in a case on a leather strap. I wouldn't have fucking bought it! I tell you now, I don't, I'm not, not, not a big fan, ah... It's it's not terrible, but I mean it is it is and it's an Amiga steel case. It's 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 possible. It's possible. I didn't say I would buy one, but it's possible. Now, as for the IWC Portuguese chronograph, and you're asking me about the limited edition Loris. I'd still be going for the Batman. Na 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 Batman. You have to have fucking rocks in you, your fucking head, to fucking buy a fucking IWC Portuguese at fucking retail. Now let me just tell you something. Switzerland is one of the most expensive places in the world to buy watches. Those Swiss cunts. Don't discount. So if I were you, I would start looking at American, American sellers because the Swiss will give you a fucking third or fourth asshole. They're cunters. Now, as far as your question about the IWC Portuguese chronograph, personally, I'd stay away from any limited editions. There is so many fucking limited editions coming out. Panerai is the brand that is every model is a limited edition. The Loris. Who the fuck are these people? They give out sporting awards. Fuck Loris. Fuck them. Fuck Loris. I'm into fatness, not fitness. Fuck those cunt of sports people. I hate sports people. They can go and jerk off in the corner. I personally would be buying the standard one because I think these limited edition ones is a crop of fucking shit and I think in most cases people prefer the standard one. Just ask my mate Greg Kinder when he bought that fucking horrid Omega Seamaster James Bond. He thought he was so cool he looked like a turd. So uh, yeah, that's my speak of the devil He's on the phone now. Anyhow, I'll leave that. I've got to fucking make some paid reviews, Greggy. I can't, I can't fucking talk to him. But the thing is this. The IWC, I love IWC. But fuck me dead, they're not really good value. $12,500, <clears throat> go for the Rolex. At least with the Batman, you'll get your fucking money back. Okay, the IWC is not so good. Not so fucking good, that's for sure. Those Swiss cunts... <clears throat> I know what the Swiss cunts are like. They don't discount. They want to sell it at full price. Wake up, you fucking morons. Wake up, you fucking Swiss cunters. And give this man a discount. They're just cunts. The Swiss are complete cunts. And, um, look, personally, 
Personally, I'd be buying it from America because the Swiss are such shitters, they don't understand the economy is fucked. The mining boom's over, youth unemployment in Europe is 30-40%. It is fuck this. Fuck this. And uh, I'd be buying, if you're gonna buy something new, get the fucking Batman. Personally, personally, okay, I would be buying, you want some nice things, non-Rolex, non-Omega. Nice chronograph would be the Breguet Type 20. Second hand, don't buy it new, it drops like a fucking stone. You tell those Swiss cunters in the retail store about that. Fucking drops like a stone. So buy it second hand. Uh, the Rolex, Rolex holds its value. One thing about Rolex, it holds its value. The limited edition Loris, they are just a bunch of fucking athletic cunters who fucking get a free watch. Fuck, I, I reckon that's a shit limited edition. You know, know something? I reckon it's shit, and I fucking think those wankers can jerk off in the corner. Um, as far as, I, I, I personally think, for that money there, <clears throat> buy a fucking Daytona. That's gonna hold its value. Hold its fucking value. If you're gonna buy something from Swiss, Swiss people who don't discount, buy a fucking Daytona. But uh, the IWC, the limited edition, that's all wankeries. Wanker, wanker bullshit. Limited editions, too fucking many of them. Too fucking many, okay? So I wouldn't be fucking getting horny over that, that's for sure. I can certainly wouldn't be cracking a horn over that one. I reckon, <clears throat> my advice, you want two good, two good non-Rolex pieces would be the, the Breguet Type 20. That's a, uh, flyback chronograph. And the other piece which I would go for, uh, anything, anything, any, I'd go for a Daytona. If you're going to pay retail, you're going to, if you don't want to lose money, you're going to have to fucking get a Rolex Daytona, okay? That's the fucking truth about it, okay? You're going to buy these fucking stupid things. You're going to do your fucking ass. You do your fucking ass on them. That's what will happen. It's a dumb fucking move. Ah, these sporting cunts. Fuck them. Fuck those sporting cunts. Who the fuck are these sporting cunts anyhow? They can all fuck off. Uh, so that's my advice there, okay? I personally, I, I, re I reckon the Breguet Type 20, uh, or the Breguet, or, or, or the Rolex Chronograph, can't go wrong with that, or the Batman. If you're gonna buy new, that'd be my choices, but buy it from America. These cunts in Switzerland, they fucking, they're meanest shitters in the fucking world. The pontiff has spoken, you either listen to my advice or you fuck off. Fuck off if you don't wanna listen to my advice. The king has spoken. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, miserable, vinyl fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. I reckon he's mad buying a fucking limited edition version. Those fucking sporting cunts can fuck off. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.